I think the the most important thing, and that I think that comes from, in a way, uh, the title of the conference, looking at the landscapes. I think you've done extremely well in drawing people together. Uh, so to de-silo a bit the, the discussions, uh, because I think there tends to be silo uh, discussions. So I think that we've had very good messages of hope on the global level, level from the Peruvian uh, minister. I think we, we need that. I think President SPY pointed to the importance of regional cooperation. I think you've pointed out the importance of cross-sectoral uh, cooperation in government and the triangle of course government, civil society and private, uh, private sector. I think you've done extremely well in that. And yes, I mean, we are committed to, uh, to stay, uh, stay the course. I think on finance, I think the best guarantee for success is to demonstrate that we are succeeding here. And I think Pajero and his uh, team, they are in the, the process of uh, proving, uh, proving that we can and will uh, produce success stories. Um, <clears throat> I think, in a way, there, there is a bad and a, and a good side to where we are at. This being a year of transition also in Indonesia. In one sense, you could say, it's unfortunate that we haven't been able to do even more during the years we had a commitment. The good thing is, of course, that 95% of the funding is available to the incoming government. So I'm pretty certain that we will be able to work as well with the incoming government as we've done with the, the sitting government. Um, I think another important thing here, I mean, you need hope and boldness. You need finance. Uh, you need technology and entrepreneurship. But you also need knowledge, and I think that's where C4 has something very uh, important. Let me just share one little story about you, with you about how wrong it can go. If you have both hope, boldness, finance, technology, entrepreneurship, but not knowledge. Uh, the Vikings were very uh, good at inventing things. They invented the best boats of their, uh, their age. They had the finance to travel uh, far. They had the boldness, they had the entrepreneurship to set up farms. So they went all the way to Greenland. What they didn't realize was that they didn't have the knowledge about the landscapes of Greenland. So they expanded, they expanded, and then suddenly somebody cut down the last tree. And from there it went very quickly downhill. So the, uh, we expanded there for 300 years. And then it took 50 years before you had to, uh, to leave the place because of lack of knowledge. So I hope that that is uh, something that you are providing us with here. So let us to make sure that we are not going to be those Vikings. <laughs>